Hey, it's uh, Black Vader. We're going to be reading the code once again. And we're going to continue until the wheels fall off. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe uh, to the channel as well. And uh, yeah, we're on page 157, area 5 law. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. What is the correct thing to do? about a non-white person who uses deadly violence or the threat of deadly violence to gain money and or material possessions from a non-white person? Answer, as long as racism and white supremacy exist, a non-white person who uses deadly violence or threat of deadly violence to gain money and or material possessions robbed from a non-white person should be put into total greater solitary confinement until such time as he or she chooses to kill himself or herself or until such time as all violence by non-white people against non-white people comes to an end through the known universe. Area 5 Law. I'll say that one more time. What is the correct thing to do about a non-white person who uses deadly violence or the threat of deadly violence to gain money and or possessions, material possessions from a non-white person? Answer, as long as racism and white supremacy exist, a non-white person who uses deadly violence or the threat of deadly violence to gain money and or material possessions robbed from a non-white person should be put into total greater solitary confinement until such time as he or she chooses to kill himself or herself or until such time as all violence by non-white people against non-white people comes to an end throughout the known universe. Note, the material ability for killing himself or herself should be at all times present with the person within his or her total greater solitary confinement circumstance. Those who are willing to kill for fun, glory, or material gain should be willing to kill themselves for doing so. Unless it is necessary, avoid saying the names of titles or titles of any person involved in the non-just killing of people. Speak against all non-just killing at any, any place in a known universe. Always suggest that all people who willfully, deliberately, or non justly kill each other be greatly influenced to also kill themselves. An eye for an eye, it sounds like. But um, during the existence of white supremacy racism, the truth about some killings of people by people is often difficult to know. Therefore, in matters of, in matters of killing people, it is best and correct to avoid the names of titles of people who may or may not be involved in such killings. It is correct, it is best and correct to make remarks about parts of the compensatory code that apply to killing in a manner that produces the most constructive thoughts about what to do and say about killings. No, according to compensatory logic, people who kill themselves while raping them, robbing people who kill People who kill people while raping them, robbing them, or attempting to enslave them should expect no mercy and no help from anyone, any place, at any time, forever. Question. What is the correct thing to say that should be done with a person who willfully, deliberately, maliciously, and, un and unjustly kills any person? Answer. Such persons should be put into maximum emergency compensatory com solidarity confinement and kept there with their same or similar to a weapon or substance that he or she used to kill that other person until he or she decides to use that tool, weapon, or substance to kill himself or herself or until there is an end to all killings of persons every place in the known universe. Notes. Compensatory constructive isolation means that almost total isolation from people or creatures except to be given 
very carefully chosen reading reading or study materials that are constructive value. All times should be used of constructive value in preparation for a constructive future. Uh, the aforementioned suggestion is correct when advocating and supporting an, according to con, con, according to the concept and practice of compensatory law and should be applied to all people. Those persons who are opposed to the aforementioned maximum emergency compensatory solidarity confinement should not be opposed to anyone, including him, himself or herself, being the next person who is unjustly killed. If you, for any reason, choose to plan or willfully deliberately kill a person, and you do so, make it your duty to kill yourself rather than surrender to those persons who, for any reason, did not approve of the killing. Explanation. According to compensatory logic, it is correct for any person, it is incorrect for any person to plan, willfully, or deliberately kill any person, and then directly or indirectly ask for mercy from the other persons who did not approve of the killing. If you choose to willfully and deliberately kill or do other harm to a person intentionally and after having done so you expect someone to speak and or act to defend in some way to help you do not do any of the following one pretend that you did not know what you did Two, apologize for having done what you did three ask for forgiveness for what for having done what you did four Ask for mercy for having done what you did. Five, say or imply that you you would not do what you did again. Question, it is correct for one person to willfully and deliberately put another person to death through execution after putting that person into greater confinement, jail, prison, etc. No. Once a person has been put in a greater confinement, jail, prison, etc., for having willfully, deliberately, or unjustly killed another person, he or she will be given a choice to continue to exist in a situation of greater confinement, maximum emergency, solitary confinement, or killing himself or herself while in greater confinement. Wow. This dude's brutal. Um, explanation. People who willfully and deliberately or justly kill other people should be given and should be willing to give themselves a maximum opportunity to kill themselves. They should be willing to do so in support of compensatory logic, compensatory science, and the law of compensation itself. Okay. You take a life, you replace the life. As long as, question, as long as compensatory racism exists, what is the correct thing to do or say when a white person willfully, deliberately, and unjustly participates in or directly or indirectly helps to promote the killing of or do serious injury to a non-white person? Answer, according to compensatory logic, or according to compensatory counter-racist logic, it is correct to say that the white person should be regarded as a racist war criminal and as such be put in the maximum emergency compensatory solidary confinement and kept there until he or she kills himself or herself or until such time as no white person is directly involved or indirectly involved in the willful deliberate and unjust killing or serious injury to a non-white person. No, white supremacist racists are expected to support this suggestion. Are not oh no white supremacist racists are not expected to support this suggestion yes okay if you rape rob steal from or willfully deliberately and or unjustly kill any person white or not white do not ask for respect or or accept any mercy of any kind from any person explanation or order the best help best help make the world the quality of place it should be. It is extremely important that no person who believes that rape, robbery, or theft, or not just killing is in any way to be enacted, supported, ignored, accepted, allowed to continue. 
such activity should be opposed and compensated for by every available and constructive effective means possible. Do not seek to expect pity, sympathy, mercy, help, protection, or support of any kind of person, including yourself, who kills another person and who does not make an immediate effort to, content, to voluntarily tell everyone all that is known about the killing. Explanation. During the existence of white supremacy, racism, racist men and racist women, racist uh, white supremacists collectively enjoy making sport, play, and mystery out of killing people. They make fun and teach others how to make fun out of playing games and killing people in secret. Exchanging views about people killing people in secret is one of their most important forms of entertainment. Racist men and racist women regard the discovery of a killing secret, of, of, of the secret killing of a person by another as exciting and as one of the greatest games for the production of joy. They participate in joy finding, chasing, catching, and punishing a non-white person who has killed a white person or has tried to keep the killing a secret. According to compensatory logic, it is not just and incorrect for any person in the known universe to keep the killing of a person secret, how, why, when, where, and by whom. It is also incorrect for any person to make sport, play, or entertainment out of the killing or out of the secrecy involved in the in killing of any person. No, the person who is willfully or unjustly kill another person and who does so should be willing to say that he or she did the unjust killing and should be willing to go to a confined space and remain there until he or she gets the will to kill himself or herself. According to compensatory logic, any person who is bold enough and are caring enough to willfully, deliberately, or, or unjustly kill another person should be bold enough and are and are uncaring enough to willfully, deliberately, and efficiently kill himself or herself. It is correct to always be willing to stand by your work. Um, oh man, I don't want to bring this video up, but there's a video of where these little kids uh, playing with guns in a bathroom online and uh this little girl ended up killing her cousin they were like i don't think they were like five or ten or i don't even know what their ages were they were acting up their parents wasn't even like paying attention to them or anything and this girl ended up shooting her shooting her uh i think her cousin or brother or something like that fell to the floor next thing you know you hear a bang she killed herself right then and there and these are just little kids and um it's just it's terrible what happened it should never have happened period the parents should have been there they shouldn't have been playing with guns at all but the fact that this little girl knew you know deep down the law of compensation and how like her, the value of the brother's life or her cousin's life was important and end up killing herself you know like it's 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 interesting it's interesting and uh, it was a very terrible thing to happen. And I think people really be playing games with lives and stuff. And the system of white supremacy be playing with our lives all the time. Like I said it once before in terms of video games, what were the kids doing? Just fighting and talking shit and trying to dominate and take over another person. You know, it's just the world, the reality that we're supposed to live in where we can just dominate each other based upon what we say, do, or think. And this is the action that we play. There's not a system of love and understanding that can manifest within ourselves and other people. No, it's a system of white supremacy that keeps other people below another person and yada, yada, yada. So, but you have to stand by your word. So, um, question, what is the correct way to regard any act of suicide by a non-white person. According to compensatory counter-racist logic, any white person who commits so-called suicide while he or she is subject to the system of white supremacy is a victim of a racist war crime. A racist war crime. And every white person who participates in a practice who, who participates in the practice of white supremacy 
racism is a racist war criminal guilty of a crime of murder. I'm going to continue reading. Try to put as much distance as you can between yourself and any person. Oh, no, I'm going to leave the music on. Yeah, okay. Try to put as much distance as you can between yourself and any person, white or non-white, who you have reason to believe will seek to do unjust harm to you. Explanation. Avoid being in their presence. When you see them coming, try to go somewhere else. Always try to be where, where they are not. This is for ops, <laughs> I guess. Try to go somewhere else. Always try to be where they are not. Avoid saying anything to them that is not necessary. If you cannot get away from them, make plans for ways and means to protect yourself from them by systematically and efficiently being ready to do something they are not prepared for you to do. That works in your favor. But always protect produces a constructive result. When possible and necessary, all conflicts should be minimized. One major way to minimize conflict is to minimize all non-constructive contact with the makers of conflict. Conflict. No contact, no conflict. I'll read that one more time. One major way to minimize conflict is to minimize all constructive contact with the makers of conflict. No contact, no conflict. Do not confuse comfort with justice, balance between people. Do not accept comfort as a substitute for justice and or speak or act as if comfort has the same meaning as justice. Explanation, white supremacists sometimes do things that make many of their victims Non-white people feel comfortable. They do these things so that their victims will value comfort more than justice. Some of these, some of the things or methods used are tasty or sweet food drinks, thrills producing or relaxing drug chemicals, love sounds, oh, loud sounds and or soothing sounds, both indented intended to prevent or hinder constructive thought, speech, or action, exciting or so-called super thrilling sexual or anti-sexual, homosexual or lesbian activities, exciting games, and or so-called sports, emblems, symbols, attention-seeking, body ornaments, or garments. the use of words in such a manner as to make truth that which ear that which is appear to be false that which is not and to make falsehood appear to be true surroundings or settings that produce the illusion or wealth of power question what is the basic compensatory counter racist response so questioning whether there is reason to believe that there, that the answer is likely directly or indirectly result in substantial added support to the system of white supremacy racism. Let me read that again. What is the basic compensatory counter racist response to questioning whether there is reason to believe that the answer is likely to directly or indirectly result in substantial added support? to the system of white supremacy racism. Answer, say, according to compensatory counter-racist logic, I, as a victim of white racism, victim of white supremacy, am required to not make any remarks that are likely to 
directly or indirectly result in a substantial as a support of the system of white supremacy. Question. What is the correct thing to say in response to a person making accusations about anything that you are doing or have done that is required or allowed according to the counter racist code to the or compensatory logic? Say one or more of the following. I acted according to the counter racist code. I acted to the compensatory law. I acted according to compens to the victim's guaranteed qualification. I acted according to count compensatory counter racist logic. So this is the counter racist code. And we're, and, we're, and we're going in the chorus with the law right now. And the VGQ is basically anyone who's non white has an opinion about racism. And there, and since and since all our, our our opinions vary because we're in a system, you know, we all don't have the answers. So, is this still going? Uh, during the existence of white supremacy racism, do not speak or act as if you expect non-white people to stop fighting and killing each other. Therefore, do all that you can to avoid all contact with non-white people that if not carefully planned and of constructive value. Do all that you can to minimize conflict by minimizing all necessary contact. Explanation During the existence of white supremacy racism, the white supremacist, racist men and racist women systematically train non white people to have total contempt for the weakness in themselves, both individually and collectively. At the same time, the white supremacist systematically train non white people to be in total awe of the strengths of the white supremacist. This results in non-white people fighting, killing, and insulting each other out of the shame and frustration of feeling helpless and worthless. When asked as if you ever participated in any criminal activity directly or indirectly associated with race, racism, or counter-racism, say, yes, by being forced to submit to and co cooperate with the system of white supremacy racism, all my activities have been criminal. When admitted to any major crimes that you have committed, say, I am also guilty of not doing enough to replace white supremacy, racism with the system of justice, balance between people. When talking about crimes or criminals, say the following, I am a criminal and I know of no person who is able to be a criminal who is not a criminal. Explanation during the existence of white supremacy and according to compensatory counter racist logic, a criminal is anyone who has committed a crime. A major crime is anything said or done or not said and done that resorts in the support of defense of the system of white supremacy in one or more areas of activity, economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, war. Counter war, economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, war, counter war. According to compensatory counter racist logic, white supremacy racism is a crime of all crimes. And any person who participates in white supremacy is a master criminal and is guilty of forcing all of his or her victims, non-white people, to support the crime of white supremacy. Support for white supremacy is the support for the crime of crimes. When talking about crimes that you may or may not have committed, say the following. The most serious crime that I have committed is to allow myself to be forced to cooperate 
with the system of white supremacy. Join notes during the existence of white supremacy and according to compensatory counter-racist logic, the system of white supremacy is the universal crime of crime and as such is the greatest and most powerful obstruction to the production of justice. If you are asked to participate in a matter of law and you, and you have reason to believe that your participation will not help to produce justice, say the following, I did not understand enough of what should be understood. When in matters of law, law enforcement, legal codes, and our production of justice balance between people, you are asked or to say something that you have reason to believe will give support and or comfort to persons who practice white supremacy racism. Say the following. I have been told that as a victim of a prisoner of and a slave to the system of white supremacy racism. Anything that I say or do that gives support and or comfort to white supremacists, racist men and racist women collectively is a direct or indirect obstruction of the production of justice. Explanation. During the existence of the system of white supremacy and according to compensatory counter-racist logic, it is the duty of every person in the known universe to resist speaking or acting to give comfort or support to any white supremacist or to any suspected white supremacist racist suspect, either directly or indirectly in any area of activity. Wow, I'm all stuck. Uh, when talking about being judged by a jury of your peers, say, I am not aware of the existence of any of my peers other than possibly myself. Explanation. During the existence of white supremacy and according to compensatory counter-racist logic, there is reason to believe that no person in the known universe is correctly qualified to judge who is or is not a peer of any white person victim of white supremacy in regards to exact time, exact place, exact circumstance, and exact state of being. Question, what is the best and correct thing to say when you are accused of saying or doing something about white supremacy racism that someone says you should have not said or done? Say, let those who are neither white supremacists nor the subjects of white supremacy racists make the correct judgments against what I have said and done. When you make a mistake in your attempts to produce justice, balance between people by using the so-called legal tools provided directly or, or indirectly by racist men and racist women, blame the mistake on racist men and racist women. When asked which persons know more about how you think than you, say, the white supremacist. Explanation. During the existence of white supremacy and according to compensatory counter-racist logic, everything that a victim of white supremacy, non-white person thinks, says, or does is a direct or indirect reaction to whatever it is that a white supremacist are thinking, saying, or doing. Do all your best to use so-called constitutional laws, religious laws, legal customs, etc. only in a manner that helps, that best helps to result in a replacement of the system of white supremacy with the system of justice, balance between people. White supremacy is not a victimless crime. Blame racist men and racist women for all things for all of the things that your offspring does that is incorrect or not constructive and offer that blame before the white supremacists blame you or others. Also blame them for not giving you the necessary help to guarantee that you and your offspring are and will be people who have all of the qualifications for producing justice, 
correctness, and peace in all areas of activity. Explanation. During the existence of white supremacy and according to compensatory counter-racist logic, it is racist men and racist women who dominate and enforce their will against the non-white people of the known universe, not only in some, but in all areas of activity, economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, and war, and slash counter-war. As long as white supremacy racism exists, it is logical and correct for the white supremacists to be blamed mostly for whatever any non-white person does or should not be doing whatever, whenever it is constructive to do so. Use the names or titles given to you by the white supremacists as evidence of what they have claimed as their so-called ownership, criminal victimization of you. Do this so you can always have some sort of direct evidence to best help support claims that you are entitled to compensation for having been made subject to the system of white supremacy. You know, even just like your name is based upon like who you're owned by as a as a non-white person. You know, your name that's the basis of who you are. Your name they own your name, your history. So who are you? Who are you? We have to get compensated for who we are, for who we are, for existence. If we have to get compensated for existing in this reality that they have created for us, or basically have to get, God has to get compensated, in my opinion. You have to get, you have to compensate God. Because if you can take away a man's or a woman's name, legacy, history, title, then we're the original people of this planet. You basically have to compensate God. And if you have to compensate God, then it's only right. Just praise God. That's it. Praise God. Because God's not being like, this ain't Moses, you know, coming down and being like, let my people go. And there's like a million plagues. And they know that. So you might as well just compensate us for our time and our efforts. You know, let us do our own thing. That's it. This world would be so much better if it was just equal. This is... This reality, this matrix ain't even that hard. Just make people don't kill each other. How hard is that? There's no, there's no, no like, feeding the wealth if you're in charge. There's so many smart people in the world, dude. And we're still at this racist stuff, bro. Just fix this problem. Let's just switch it. Switch it with the system of justice, man. It's not that deep. It's the most deep shit in the world and the most serious shit in the world. But of all this intelligence being hindered by the white supremacists, it's like you're just we're we're in twenty we're in twenty twenty two, dude. It's not that deep. Come on, man. Just get rid of this racist. Just put money in smart black women, black men in black women's pockets. Uh, put black men and black women together. And let them build families, give them an education, give them a home. Let them be on their own. Let them just be on their own. Don't stop doing this evil ass shit, trying to make everyone gay and 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 separating the black man from his family. Y'all niggas are terrible, bro. What's the problem? Martin Luther King died and y'all niggas went ham on us. He said, we gonna kill him. We gonna bring the immigrants in. We gonna bring the drugs in. Y'all niggas is crazy. And we're going to blame y'all for the drugs. And we're going to blame y'all for 9-11. <laughs> Just in case. Just in case. We're going to blame the, the, dark, the darker ones for 9-11. And we're just going to let this shit go haywire. But, um, yeah.
it is what it is. Thank you guys for being a part of this and letting me read to you guys. Next time, we're going to start with Area 6 politics. Um, it's going to be interesting. I read a lot today. I just couldn't help myself. You know, it's a part of the game. And, you know, that's life. That's love. So I appreciate everyone for rolling with me. And, um, yeah, that's it. God bless everyone. And if I can help you guys with the code, if I can help one person, you know, it's all good. But if not, then, hey, I got some of this in my memory. So thank you guys so much. God bless y'all. Peace.